McGowan, who's very composed on the ball on Boxing Day. I was impressed with some of the link-up play. He'll try and do that role again here this afternoon. His round under pressure from Lefoudou. Plays the ball inside for Lees now, and Lees looks across to the right-hand side, and we'll find Richardson in a bit of space. Richardson bends one forward. It's an interesting pass, and Romain is interested in it. But Oh, it's given away by Curtis, and there's a big chance for Blythe. And it's an absolute gift-wrapped late Christmas present prevented, presented by James Curtis there and finished really well. And it's Isaac Walker again, I believe, who scored that consolation on Boxing Day, who's on target against Moors at the return fixture here. And it's a, he's holding his hands up, James Curtis, and well, he might. Yeah, he basically he didn't look up. I was waiting for him to look up because you could see Walker just inside the 18-yard box waiting for the back pass to the keeper was Judy came intercepted it one touch slid past the keeper put Blythe one up yeah I think it's obviously uh, given Blythe a shot of confidence that opening goal and they are competing much better than they did on Boxing Day here's Taylor that's good play by Taylor away from McGowan got a bit of space to work into there and he, there's a lovely ball across to McKeown and McKeown now can really run at Richardson he's inside the box couple of step overs now tries to lay it back the edge of the area for Anderson Anderson just can't get it within shooting range but he does knit a lovely pass through for McKeown again McKeown drives low at the near post but down goes Alex Mitchell to claim that one decent enough effort but I don't suspect you will see Mitchell beaten like that too many times yeah he's near post Mitchell would have been disappointed if he hadn't picked that one out Kendall switches a diag it's a great ball in at the feet of Lefoudou now Lefoudou inside the for Taylor now now Boyle right hand side is Ledger advanced at the moment played down the line for Lefoudou who's one on one with round here can he get a uh, find a route past him here he's gone on the outside again this time he is past round and his cross comes in and it's a fine save from Mitchell to deny Glenn Taylor his 10th goal of the season he met it really powerfully there, Glenn Taylor. He's got his head in his hands because he probably thinks by his standards that should be hitting the back of the net, but it was a really good save from the visiting keeper. It was very good. I mean, Taylor made good connection. He was heading uh, with pace and a couple of yards out and Mitchell somehow got a right hand up to it and over the bar. Now Curtis. On the left-hand side is Kendall. Kendall's ball forward towards uh, towards the left-hand side. It's evaded Richardson now. And there's a real chance for Ramshaw inside the penalty area here. And he squeezes a shot right across goal. And it's just wide. I think Mitchell must have pushed it around the post, actually, because he's given a corner the referee. And Rob Ramshaw, who scored twice against the Spartans on boxing day, was almost at it again there. Yes, two close things from Springmore there. Quick succession. Taylor header, then Ramshaw. It's a corner on the right hand side. It'll be Anderson to line this one up. A couple of good opportunities then for Spenny Moore to get level. Can they work something from this set piece? It's dim. Dangerous one, and it's off the line. It's not. It's gone in. And it's Reese Kendall, I think, who scored the goal, is it? I think it's Reese Kendall who's getting the congratulations. It was a powerful header. It was probably 12 yards out when he met it. There was a man on the line, but he couldn't keep it out. And it's one all here. Well, it's been coming just the last couple of minutes, what we just said. Uh, two very close efforts by Spenning Moore and then uh, the result is goal. It's a bit of blue sky up there. The sun goes down. Round. That's a lovely little one-two. He's played there around Lefoudou. And that's an excellent pass as well for Walker, left-hand side. And Walker, this is a similar area from which he scored on Boxing Day. And this time he's saved by Bellagambi. And the follow-up is a great challenge by Curtis that plays the ball against Walker. And it goes behind for a goal kick. He went for power this time and straight at Bellagambi. Smart save by the goalkeeper, but one you'd expect him to make, uh, but again, Walker showing his threat there and his menace. Yeah, it was a great through ball by Curtis Ryan in the first place to find him and uh, one touch off, off his left foot onto his right foot. The corner here is taking a while to come in. The referee just keeping a very close eye. There's loads going on in the box. Good luck, referee. And the header comes in and Bella Gamby just about grabs it on the oh. line there. It went through bodies and it was almost being obstructed by a defender on the line as he 
grabbed it, it threatened to squirm through his grasp, but didn't, thankfully. <laughs> you see the lodge between the defender's hip and the goalkeeper's hip. Yeah. Sorry, before, uh, like a slip cord, who goes for that one? He got hands to <laughs> yeah, he was, yeah. <laughs> Curtis has gone forward into the middle. Kendall joins them now. Anderson, deep free kick to the far post. Kendall goes down there. The referee looking straight at it. Didn't fancy giving anything there. Here's Boyle, left corner of the 18 yard box now. That's a decent knock into the box and it's glanced on and behind for a goal kick. In fact, the referee decides that that's half time here at the brewery field. It was ever so close right on the whistle there for Moors as the ball was flashed in by Dylan Boyle. A couple of challenges there and find McGowan. Richardson high on the right hand side now and he'll come in field on his left foot and try the strike. He didn't really get hold of it and it was blocked and then Main on the edge of the area gets it again. He's wriggling away from a couple of challenges and then it's prodding through a gap. The flag stays down against Walker but it's an excellent challenge. Uh, coming across there was Cousin Dawson to get in the way and that saved a potential goal there because Walker was just unloading on goal. Here's a ball for uh, Cedric Main, and he's done well to turn there. And Walker, the danger man, again on the right-hand side. He's looking to take on Curtis. Only really Main in the middle here, but Blyther trying to increase the body count now. Here's Devidix inside. It goes, and the shot from round is just wide of the right-hand post of Bella Gamby's goal. I think he had it covered, the young goalkeeper, as he went down to his right. Yeah, but, it was uh, a... Blythe looking the more likely at the start of this second half. Who is it? Been forward themselves just a minute or two earlier, but it's by the way getting some shots on goal here. James Curtis just behind Bryce Isaac Walker. Walker's he gets the spin on him, could go past. So the ball sent towards the edge of the box it's headed up in the air and it's only as far as Ramshaw now Ramshaw this is dangerous and it's another good save from Mitchell he had to get across quickly to his left there because Ramshaw shifted it ever so briskly on his right foot and let fly with a powerful shot it was a, another good save by the Blythe keeper yeah, he's having a good day Alex Mitchell Blythe goal really good saves ball at the box it's flicked on on the near side McKeown Left hand side collects it though and he's going to try and take on Richardson back on his right foot. Decent ball in! And again Mitchell just about keeps it out there. Threatened to squirm away from him at the back post but he gleefully dives on it there. It was a lovely delivery from McKeon. I don't think anyone he got a touch but uh, Mitchell had to be really aware again. Half so far. Ball forward is cleared away by round. Drops on the halfway line for Barlow. It's cut out by Boyle though and Anderson chips a nice ball up the line and now suddenly there's a chance for Lefudo. If he can get there right hand side he can. Gets it caught a little bit under his feet but now he's out and running into the box and he goes into the area. He's still going. He shoots straight at Mitchell. Decent enough strike on the ball but couldn't send it either side. It was straight down the throat of Mitchell who was glad to control that one with his hands. Bellagambi's clearance downfield is one in the air by Kendall and it might fall for Ramshaw here and Lefudu's got one on one here against Round he's looking to try and take him on here on the edge of the box can he find the angle for a shot can he find the angle for a cross he blasts it wide of the near post a little step over he went past him but too much on the shot but he took somebody in the crowd out that So Ainsley makes a double change here inside the final 18, 19 minutes of action. Can Tom Allen and Paul Blackett's introduction make an instant dividend? Here's a chance. Blackett set up Lefudu. And Lefudu's shot is pushed around the post by Mitchell again. Well, the Blythe keeper is having an outstanding start to 2023. He's made three top draw saves now at the least. Lefudu, the latest man to be frustrated by the Blythe stopper. 
Blackett straight involved in the action there. He lifted a lovely ball into the path of Lafuru to set up that opportunity. Corner comes into the box. It's flicked on by Blackett. And then it's nodded in off the post. And it's in. And it's that man again, Rob Ramshaw. He scored twice on Boxing Day at Croft Park. And now he's on target again against Blythe Spartans. And Moors have come from behind to lead here. Blackett's header hit the bar. It came back out. Blythe couldn't clear. And Ramshaw nodded in off the post. Green and white striped shirts and the red congregating in the middle waiting for the delivery to come in and it's cleared away at the front post. Blythe can't get there on the edge of the box though and now there's a chance for a break here and it's Tom Allen down the right hand side and again he's running at his man. Richardson's back with him but Allen's got the beat of him and he's drew another save with the feet this time from the goalkeeper. Good pace to get away from Tom Allen there. Richardson couldn't keep it from stopping there, stopping from shooting him on goal firm strike but another good save with the feet this time from Alex Mitchell yeah. coming out. Well, he's chipped it in almost like a golf shot there and it's gone all the way across the uh, penalty area and it's collected by Elsden on the near side who whips it back in it's a decent ball and it's glanced wide it was at Walker in the middle arriving I think it was and was it Lee's I think it might have been the centre back, Toby Lees, who did get the touch yes, on the ball. Yes, it was, yeah. Uh, put it wide uh, of the target. Went no, just a little bit early. Got another Manage. ball. Here's round now. Inside for Main, left corner of the 18 yard box. Main looking to try and find the angle for a shot. He gets into a shooting position. His shot is deflected just wide of the post. Bella Gamby flung himself down to his right there, and obviously concerned and it just flashed past his post and it's a corner. Come on. 